celebrating our treasure of natural wonders, California Nature on the Air. California is a state full of superlatives, and here's one right here. The coastal redwood tree. It's our state tree, except we have two, count them, two trees for our state tree. Not only the coast redwood, but we also have the other redwood, the one that's in the Sierra Nevada, the giant sequoia. The claim to fame of both of these trees is spectacular. The giant sequoia is the world's largest living tree. The coast redwood is the tallest living thing on the planet Earth. The Northern Hemisphere was once covered by redwood trees. And as the climate changed, they got further and further restricted in the places that they can live. In some ways, redwood trees seem immortal. They have high levels of tannic acid, which prevents insect infestation, and they have very thick layers of bark. And when a fire sweeps through the forest, these thick layers of bark insulate the tree, and so essentially prevent the fires from killing it. The coast redwood, even though it's called Sequoia sempervirens, sempervirens means evergreen, you can figure out the age of little twigs. They're not really evergreen. They may live for seven to 11 years before they drop off. Theirs, one year, two years, three years, four years, and five years. So what finally does a redwood tree in? The trees are two or 300 feet high and the wind is blowing and they fall over. That individual dies, but up pops clonal groups from the root systems. Those start growing up, 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 and eventually one or two will dominate and may live for another 2,000 years. We have no way of knowing how old the root systems of these redwood trees are. They could be 10, 20, 30,000 years old. Primeval giant specimens, don't miss them. 